And for the purpose of this video, we're not going to go over the assembly of the keyboard stand. It's very self-explanatory. You know, it's not rocket science. So in this review, it's going to be based on the pros and cons, why you should or shouldn't invest in this keyboard stand. Hello, GearHeads. This is Patrick again, doing another keyboard stand review. And this is the Conic and Meyer, or K and M, the Omega stand. As you can see, I have three keyboards on the stand right now. And you're probably wondering why is the middle longer than the other two? Well, I will tell you exactly why I have it that way. And in this review, I will talk about the pros and cons and why you should or you should not invest in this keyboard stand. Here's another pro of owning the Omega keyboard stand. As you can see, there's a lot of accessories that is compatible with this particular stand. You can actually go to town with this thing. There's a laptop holder, a tablet holder, a note rest, a mic boom, and so on. And here are some of the cons. First off, it is very expensive. So k and sells this keyboard stand separately. You can buy the stand separately for $260. Each of this tier, uh, stagger, as they call it, is $190. So do the math, add it up, plus tax. And you know why I said this keyboard stand is very expensive. It would literally cost you $640. That's not including tax or shipping. Just to have a setup like this with three keyboards on it. So here is the main reason I have the middle keyboard on the second tier. Well, if you have a keyboard that it is 15 inch or longer in depth, the second tier will not fit. As you can see, ideally you want to have your first tier be the shortest keyboard and so on. In this case, I wanted my second keyboard to be sitting on the second tier, but my second keyboard depth is longer than 15 inch. So therefore I have to put it on the bottom or uh, the, the bottom, uh, bottom of the stand. Reason being is the keyboard that, that I have on the second tier is a cork trine. And this is about maybe 13 inch in depth. So if you have a keyboard that is a longer than 15 inch in depth, it would not fit because of the third tier um, stacker is in the way. And if it does fit, you might run into another problem is that uh, there might be some jacks that are in the way and you won't be able to make any connection. So that's the con. Here's another con of this keyboard, that it is not uh, quite sturdy when you have uh, three keyboards on it. Now, with two keyboards, it's very sturdy, but with three keyboards, it's very swingy uh, as far as, uh, you know, back and forth. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. It's really, really uh, shaky. Now, side to side, not too bad. But it's not as sturdy as the Stantastic that I reviewed uh, earlier, made by um, Ellen and Product. That particular stand has a better sturdiness than this stand. But in, in, in a two tier stand, a two tier keyboard stand, uh, this stand is very sturdy. But when you add a third one on, it's not quite as sturdy as the Stantastic that I reviewed earlier. So check that one out. Uh, this one doesn't take a lot of space like the Stantastic uh, does because the Stantastic utilize, you know, almost like an X stand uh, type of uh, leggings, but uh, it takes you know, quite more space than this. But uh, as far as sturdiness between the two stands that uh, now that I've reviewed, 
the Stantastic by l &M product is much sturdier than this uh, particular uh, keyboard stand by uh, K&M or Konic and Meyer. So it's all based on your preference, what you like. For studio, I like this stand. It's a lot cleaner uh, uh, put together. When, when it's well put together like this, it's a lot cleaner than the uh, Stantastic uh, stand. But for uh, rug, rugginess or uh, sturdiness, the Stantastic is, has a better sturdiness than this particular keyboard stand. So I hope that this review uh, would uh, you know, give you some insight of uh, what to invest in this particular keyboard stand. Number one, like I said, it's very expensive. To have this set up like this, it's $640. That's not including tax or shipping. So you're looking about close to $700, depending on where you, you know, purchase them. So yes, it is very expensive. A suggestion that I would have for Connick and Meyer or K&M, in order to fit, you know, a larger size uh, keyboard in depth, is that by having this, whatever, whatever you want to call it, a holder here, be adjustable, you know, move in, move out an inch or two on both ends. That will solve uh, that tremendously for a larger keyboard like this one bottom here or the top one here. A large by mean is that in depth, it's, you know, very, very wide in depth. So that is my suggestion for uh, K&M or Konick and Meyer. So again, I'm doing this as a uh, independent review. I'm not being paid by uh, K&M or Konick and Meyer to do this review. I do this so you guys don't have to before you invest in a stand like this. So again, thank you. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It will help my channel grow. Thank you.